So we want to set the flow layout to JFrame. By default, JFrame is border layout. That means, remember, we're going to call the methods, which is inside your JFrame here. After you set icons, do the full screen, set preferred size. You can also do set layout. Right, and then just set new flow layout. And of course, you need to import the class flow layout in. It's under the AWT package. Right. and <coughs> provide the call the constructor right now I set the flow layout that means what happened if I took this border layout out because I'm not using border layout right so flow layout mean is supposed to have login first and reset live flow okay in one direction from left to right like that. See, before we have frame, now we have flow layout, right? I mean, frame before we have border layout, we have central and south. Now we have the first button go first, second. If you add more, it's just keep going to the left, right, right, right. <coughs> so that's how we do flow layout. <coughs> so since uh, we not using the panel here, I'm going to show you how to use J panel. <coughs> panel left okay left panel <coughs> again the better name for this is JBT stand for J button <coughs> because we can have a lot of things going on J panel So I'm going to say JPL for J panel. Left panel <coughs> equals to new J panel. <coughs> right. I'm going to create two panels. <coughs> And again, default J panel is flow layout. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is actually, <coughs> I'm going to have. Let me name instead of left. I'm going to name it uh, the label panel and the button panel. I start to separate the components now. And I'm going to create a label for username and password. J now we have text field to log in right like text field for you to enter something so I'm going to say user and again JTXT T, right I'm going to say J text field I'm going to abbreviate with just three letters J text field uh, user name equals to new J text Field. <coughs> and you can set the size of username right here. Let's do like about 25 letters length. I'm going to do with the uh, J password. So we have J password field for password. So J P W D. Password. <coughs> Q news. J. Password. Field. Okay. Uh, let's set the same length. So the difference is text field is when you type you see the text. Password you see the stars, right? Now <coughs> I have that, so I might want to do labels too. J level user name equals to new J level user name 
same with the password Uh, we go call J level password. So I just add four more components. So this is going to go into the J level panel. So what I'm gonna do after I have frame open, I want to deal with my panel now. Um, JPL level panel. <coughs> so you see if you name it properly you you remember it right do you have to scroll back and look at the name again so naming is important now I want to add my label and uh, this is a flow layout what does it mean it's going to be by default flow left to right right So we need to add it's for layout. Let's say I put username first. Label username, right? J label J L B. Did it say J L B L? Okay. <coughs> Alright, so I have J label username and then I need to add but it's TX right user name and password right so now I have username and password Uh, it's J password, right? <coughs> All right. So, on the first panel, the label panel, I need to have the buttons for login, right? And clear, which is on my button panel. Add and what's the button name? JBT. Login is that and reset right so now I add the components to my level and button then what I need is these are flow layout it's going to be like a flow, but it's two separate panels. I'm going to add panels to my frame. That's the reason why we want to use panel to do a better layout when you have a lot of components. You can mix between the layout. If I do flow layout here, that means it's going to add my label panel to the left and button panel to the right as a flow because I set frame to flow, right? So let's see what happened. JPL level panel and JPL <coughs> button panel. Let's run this and see what we get. Make sense? Left panel username, right? J text field username, password, J password field, right? Like that, right? The password and right panel, right? Now, if I want to do border to make it top and bottom, I can do so, right? Like, for example, I can actually add another panel, which is my control panel, right? I can add now I want to set my panel to be a border but because by default it's flow I want to be a top and bottom right so I need to set 
layout on my JPL control panel dot set layout to new border layout so we just learned to layout so far so we're using this to apply to this and then <coughs> I can also just do add this two into my control panel and set remember border layout right to if you want to center one center and one to the bottom which is the button panel to the bottom right that's just based on your design now this is just to show you you can go to south right this is the bottom of the page and of course don't forget to add this JPL control panel right to the frame otherwise frame is going to be blank <coughs> see that so this is go to the north go to the south I mean this is like central right if you say north it's going to have a gap so that's just setting up the layout but we didn't do any event yet So I create the repository for you for this code on github.com under that path. If you type that link, then you should be able to access to the code here. <coughs> so first commit because I make the changes add uh, J panel, J label, right? J text field, J password. What else? And demonstrate how to use flow layout and border layout, right? on J panels and switching to the new one right okay so that's the link that you can find the code it's on github all right so refresh Okay, we have it there. So our code is there. Now, 